What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Samuel underscore traveler. And you may be wondering where I am right now because you can be able I'm using my flashlight and also I seem like I'm squatting inside a cave. Yes, I'm inside a cave and this is where we are starting our today's adventure. Right here, I'm inside a Mau Mau cave. When I mention Mau Mau, you really know what it means to the people of Kenya and to the history of Kenya. So, I am inside whereby our freedom fighters, our ancestors fought from. And I want to walk out and show you what the surrounding of this place looks like. So, and uh, we are heading out. And uh, let me show you. So guys, this is the Mau Mau cave. So, as a Kenyan, or someone who has the roots in the Republic of Kenya, and you're watching this video, you really know or understand what it means to have the Mau Mau people or the Mau Mau guerrilla warfares who fought for the rebellion of the country. So I don't want to go to the details because I think everyone get, knows and understands when I mention the word Mau Mau. The Kenya land uh, rifles freedom fighters. So, and also I have one of my friends. She's going to be in the picture as we proceed. So stick around and continue watching the vlog. Just a minute. Ah. Nothing beats having an amazing friend and a pretty friend who decides to take you out and see the nature. And someone can someone do the drum laws. Let me introduce you to one, two. Why is you so dramatic? Something that must kill a man. Anyway, introduce yourself. <laughs> oh, must kill a man. Hi, my loves. How do you call your family? Anything? So, hi, chocolate lovers. I hope you're chocolate lovers. So, hi, chocolate lovers. How are you doing? So, Mr. Sam here decided to host me in his channel. So, my name is Sherry, the innocent village girl. Sherry Kibugi. And if you are new here please make sure you subscribe to his channel okay make sure you subscribe to his channel and yes karibu sana my name is the innocent village girls <laughs> so <laughs> so guys uh, this is uh sherry oh, sorry. sorry i am uh, i am a little bit taller than her so no i have the american height you you i'm a whole model she's a whole model I anyway <laughs> if you have a gig out there and you need, need a model <laughs> someone to look up so no, I'm, I'm okay she decided to bring me out here to enjoy the nature mm -hmm. and see what uh, it entails so we want to walk around here have a discussion so maybe one two three things and then we'll see you watch the video up to the end well, so, i have a youtube channel he's yeah, forgotten yeah. to say i have a youtube channel please subscribe my name is Sherry, the innocent village girl, the innocent village girl, or Sherry Kibugi. He's going to put my username on the description box, will you? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Guys, you can be able to tell her. She's innocent. She's I innocent. Am innocent. She is innocent. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> I'm not innocent. You I are. Am innocent. You are. I am. You are. Okay. So you can tell people where we are right now. So we are in my village. This is my village. Mm -hmm. It's a part of my village. Mm -hmm. This is the Mau Mau caves. Mm -hmm. okay? This is where the freedom fighters used to hide. So my grandfather was a freedom fighter and he was the healer. He was the medicine man. So this is a place where I've been brought by my relatives and stuff, 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 stuff. So um, <laughs> this is one of the Mau Mau caves. I'll also be showing you different hubs wow. there are also different hubs that they were treated with um if they got wounds there are specific hubs that were used to treat them 
and if someone got a cold there's even a fridge by the yeah. way have you seen the fridge yeah i've seen and it's really cold and cool yeah. it's really cool a book here food it won't get spoiled wow so i hope they love and enjoy this video so guys i'm hanging out with a descendant of a um, healer mm -hmm. of a healer so today i'm expecting to see some very 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 <laughs> traditional medicine from <laughs> nature so guys i hope now this is going to be it's going to be amazing <laughs> today i have to learn a lot i have to learn a lot i love how he sets you guys up honestly i do i love his whole vibe i have i love your vibe and he's also very handsome ladies yo if you're single are you single okay he's single so ladies <laughs> this guy is a whole meal a whole snack <laughs> anyway yeah <laughs> guys huh? I don't like talking more about that, but anyway, let's continue with the video. Ah, She's the you're one. Being yeah, you're yeah. being humble. Yeah, I'm being humble. Yeah, I'm being humble. You're being humble. Do not be humble about your looks. How are you being humble about your looks here? So, anyway, guys, that's the story of another day, but let me be taking around, showing some things that I'm supposed to see, and then we drop down to the waterfall. So, the day is over. Kenya, a country known for its one natural wonders, waterfalls, wildlife, forest, and everything that it comes with, culture and cultural entities. Today, one of my friends decided to take me out and show me around some amazing quiet and chill place whereby you can camp you can watch the waterfall and you can enjoy the nature so we want to walk around it's one of the best places actually i've been into nature because as you can see look these are some of our structures that have been elected here to distinguish or to tell you where you're supposed to be or stationed so let me show you how it looks like this is like a water path and down there i can be able to hear a waterfall so and i and i have been told huh, when it comes to history when it comes to the struggle for independence some of the Mau Mau fighters used to hide into this uh, garden. They have their own habitation or their own hideout, hideout. Some of the Mau Mau fighters used to hide in this area. So the management of the Kenya Forestry Service has decided to uh, put aside this place to preserve the nature and the history and also to give a diverse uh, cultural preservation so that people can be able to understand and tell how the nature works so let me show you where it is this is the name of the area let me show you how it looks like so this is the name of the this is the name of the the garden Karemen, Karemenu Gardens is where in Kiambu County in a place called Bika. So down here I can be able to hear there is a, a waterfall and back there is a Mau Mau cave. I want to show you how it looks like but I also want to introduce one of my friends who has decided to bring me here and help me understand and uh, enjoy the nature. So keep on tuned. I want to show the Mau Mau caves and also get to tell you more about the Mau Mau, the freedom fighting and the struggle for independence of the Republic of Kenya. So for those people who may not know who are the Mau Mau, Mau Mau was a, a guerrilla warfare unit that fought for the independence of the Republic of Kenya. So, and they used to base their struggles in the forest, deep in the forest, whereby it was very difficult for the colonizer to get into the terrain because they were well conversant with the terrains. 
some people who are famous with the Mau Mau guerrilla warfare are someone like the field marshal Dedan Kemadi, uh, Washuri, there is the I don't come General Kahiritina, a lot of people who used to be among the Mau Mau freedom fighters. And uh, these are some of the caves they used to hide. So right now you cannot be able to tell because huh, this is like a natural fridge. I guess this is whereby maybe if you want to get like, uh, if it's very hot and you want to cool yourself, this is a cave right here. It's very small. I don't know if I can be able to go in here. And I don't know what I can find deep inside here, but if it's a natural fridge, that means you got a very cool environment around here. And from the surrounding here, down there, guys, I can be able to hear there is a, a waterfall. I'm going down the steps here, some steps that have been uh, dug and being maintained so that you can be able to drop down to the waterfall. Anyway. Uh, there is a waterfall here and when I tell you Kenya is diverse Kenya is full of richness from from natural wonders animals waterfalls and the hospitality of the people so this is one among the small waterfall around here I also want to look for a space whereby I can walk and come to up to this point here because I cannot be able to jump all the way to the waterfall but there is a small part where I can pass around there so and uh, on that note some uh, trees some natural trees some indigenous trees here uh, they have been written in the native Kikuyu language so the friend I have is well conversant with the Kikuyu language so she is going to maybe help me pronounce those words and get to understand the uses of those uh, trees so this seems like a, a small car waterfall here so when you're in nature you never lack things like this this is a small like a water channel a water channel in, in uh, coming from this big 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 curve structured tree I don't know the name but maybe it has its own natural wonders because water is coming from there and uh, here we got a very nice place whereby you can camp I have had I have been told that it's easier and it's okay to come and camp here so maybe one of these fine days with my camping gears and maybe some friends I can decide to come over here and do camping maybe for some few days so there is also some washrooms here you can be able to assist yourself in some of those uh, cloak rooms there so uh -huh. let me see so oh man i guess there are some animals that come to drink water from here because i can be able to see some foot foot footprints here so unless maybe I'd move my shoes and walk all the way to the other side it's not going to be possible for me to go to the other side but anyway guys please enjoy the nature I, I didn't know that this place existed until one of my friends who I'm going to introduce later in the video uh, decided to get me out of the house and tell me you know what I've been your biggest fan. I love your work. Let me take you somewhere you can enjoy the nature. So, yep. Huh? The, the night was just sucks. Not sucks. Hmm. Tokonia snitches. Snitches are called tokonia. Akina harisuku. Oh. So yes. The snitches. The uh, snitches are called tokonia. Uh -huh. So there's a time uh -huh. when the tokonia, the snitches, I should stop talking in Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the tokonia, I'm used to tokonia. They would um, snitch on where the Mau Mau people were hiding. Ah. So when the aeroplanes were going round uh -huh. and some white wicked, I call them wicked, some white wicked askaris would come, mm -hmm. the Mau Mau would jump in here 
Oh, they could hide here, so... They are bats in there, and you know bats don't like light. Aye, there are no bats around. There are no bats. So this is a hide. Oh. There aren't bats here, I just seen a mammoth. And there is in here, Pia, Palendani. There is another one here. Guys, it's totally dark. It's not easy for me to see unless... Yes, it's really dark. I go in. There are some sacks inside here. What are they used for the sacks? The are the, the passage, passage. Oh, there are some passages around here. Yeah. So guys, if you can, this is how it looks like. Also hide oh, okay. Why haven't the management put some uh, lighting here? You don't mess around with Yeah, okay, but putting some it? lighting is okay for people to be able to see. You know. It spoils the whole vibe. It spoils the whole. So, guys, now here we have the the board or the whatever. The kids like others scattered across various parts of the central Kenya are considered sacred by many and are part of Kenya history being used by the Mau Mau freedom fighters as holdouts during the struggle for independence. So, guys, I already told you what the meaning of Mau Mau is, what the uh, entities or they are doctoral in world, but the real meaning of the Mau Mau, it was Kenya Land and Freedom Army. So everyone who went through the Kenyan... No, so what is the definition of Mau Mau? The Mau Mau? Mau 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 So, guys, you can be able to see, uh, aka the Mau Mau Revolt, Mau Mau Rebellion, Kenya Emergency and... Hmm? Hey, what's that my gen hmm? uh, whatever uh -huh. the kikuyu was 1950 and 1960 so between 1950 and 1960 mm -hmm. or 1952 that's when the 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 british declared kenya uh, uh the what is it called the state of emergency yeah that's when it was declared mm -hmm. because the mau mau now they were becoming fierce mm -hmm. and they were becoming so to the to the British. Okay. So this is the just an entity to remind you of where we have come from and what defines Kenyans. As a country. As a country. As a people. Yeah, as a people. Kefla. Yeah. Do you know your history? Huh? Do you know your history? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was your grandfather a Mau fighter? I have had a, uh, a grandma mm -hmm. who I think she died with uh, at the age of a hundred and something. Mm -hmm. She used to be like the person who used to supply like the food oh. to the Mau Mau. How did they do it? Uh huh. They used to they used to sometimes uh hide in the bushes. Mm -hmm. You know they were living like in a concentration camps. Mm -hmm. So the women they were captured and sometimes they could live in a concentration camp. Mm -hmm. So when they get time they can be able to run away out of the concentration camp. Mm -hmm cook meals like the traditional kikuyu food and now they can go to the bush and there were specific places whereby they could keep the food yeah. like the way you have told me like the fridge mm -hmm. now that's where the mau mau were able to know okay this place this is where the women put the food mm -hmm. and this was the hideout so after they put the food they could not maybe have the conversation they were not be able to see each other mm -hmm. They put the food and they ran away to That's other places. Nice. I'm glad to know that you know your history, but yeah. it's very important. Yeah, I'm a big part of history and history is a part of me. Everybody. So, uh, what, what were you saying? I believe of the Kikuyu, Ifa? Yeah, we can just have a seat here. We have that conversation. So, she's a pure Kikuyu. She understands maybe the Kikuyu beliefs, the culture, the tradition. And that's why you can be able to see how she's uh, she's wearing her attires. You can be able brown, to see. Brown yeah. is the Kikuyu color. And it also blends very well with my skin. Your skin. Brown and blue, mm -hmm. but mostly it's brown. Brown. During uh, dowry, you'll see the bride wearing brown. 
a lot of times when a child is born brown, the elders they wear brown because brown represents soil. To meta modaga in it, to meta terini. Okay. Okay. So guys, can you? Is it? Is it also reflecting from? Ah, you also have brown. Also, you can look. Let me show them your look. Yeah, because my bag is brown. I don't know if you. It's in a recording. Okay. Yeah. You see? So Let me it's show. Recording. He's also wearing brown by the way. It's like he knew. Did you know? No, I that didn't. That you were coming to to Akikuyu place. I uh, no. I just maybe it was a coincidence. Ah. Maybe it was a coincidence. Sometimes things happen by coincidence. Uh, I'm a brown. Is just your color. Is it your uh, color? Yeah, cause I guess most of my things in the house they have that uh, brown aesthetic. Okay, Ati, Ati. Yeah, connecting yourself to the nature. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. So what were you saying about the the okay, so belief of a kikuyu? Where? So, mm -hmm. do you know that car? I don't know if you've heard of it. There's this belief. Uh huh. That the Kikuyus have. Mm -hmm. If you go around a Mugumo tree seven times. So a Mugumo tree is a fig tree in English, yes, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a sacred tree, by the way. For the Kikuyu. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you go around the tree, you'll mm -hmm. turn into a boy if you're a girl. And if you're a girl, you'll turn into a boy. Have you heard of it? I think I've heard about that. Uh, there is one place I went in Kambani. Mm -hmm. And I heard about the when you go around a certain mountain, uh -huh. you'll that's that's going to happen. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I heard. But in uh, in the Giriyama or the people from the Mijiken or people the the coastal Bantus, yeah. they believe that the Mugumo tree or the fig tree is a sacred place, and most of the most of the people from the coast they go down there to do sacrifices. To pray from there, mm -hmm. and also uh, they signify that where a mogumo tree grows, mm -hmm. there was a legend who died and was buried there. Ah, so that's why the, the the that's why the people from the coast or the coastal Bantu mm -hmm. believes that when you see a mogumo tree of a fig tree, yeah. when you see a mogumo or a fig tree, <laughs> it means that. Uh, <laughs> It means that uh, a legend, a person who has good spirit, and also they have also bad spirit, mm -hmm. they died and they were buried there. In a mugumo tree? Mm -hmm. Where the mugumo tree grows. That is a bad legend. So that's why I've said there is the good legend, mm -hmm. there was also the bad legend, mm -hmm. and the others had good spirit and others had bad spirit. Ah. So, at least it has to comprise everything that comes with it. Okay. Yeah, so at least I have the, the coastal, knowledge. coastal Bantu knowledge and, and also the central Bantu knowledge. So, let me tell you, in the Kikuyu culture, I feel like it, Nikama, we are competing, but we're not competing. You're not competing, they're just <laughs> sharing knowledge. So, in the Kikuyu culture, mm -hmm. there were three sacred trees mm -hmm. okay there's the mugumo tree mm -hmm. there's the mokoyo tree mm -hmm. the third tree i can't remember but if i remember i'll tell you mm -hmm. so the one behind us uh -huh. this is a sacred tree this is a, okay mm -hmm. and it's a mokoyo tree it's more than 500 years so how i basically know some sacred trees when i go to nature mm -hmm. is how they are structured mm -hmm. and also there has to be like a waterfall or some Chemi chemi zamaj zina toka apo. Like there's some some water that's flowing from. That's how I identify that. Yeah. Alafu, mm -hmm. have you noticed something? For me, I've noticed mm -hmm. that where there is a sacred tree, mm -hmm. that is where the mama will dwell in. So, for instance, here yeah, there are more than three sacred trees, mm -hmm. and you there up until you will find the caves where caves. the mama fought. I guess it's because maybe that's where they could do the sacrifices yeah. and also mm -hmm. ask God for guidance mm -hmm. from that place. Okay. So yeah, this is a mokoyo tree mm -hmm. and it has water flowing. Yeah, yeah, guys, you can be able to tell. I hope I hear. That one. So it has some curve, curved structure. Mm -hmm. I was here. You were here, so I don't have to take that part. Yeah. 
Okay. So, is this the one that uh, people say like there is a? I guess I have had one of my grandma saying that uh, an elephant mm -hmm. uh, eats the mokoyo tree. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't it, it doesn't care about itself, so it will rather die when mm -hmm. eating the mokoyo tree, mm -hmm. so that the kids can eat the the fruit. their fruits. Yeah. Is it that? Yeah. <laughs> Please, I want to go there. So, guys, I told you I'm hanging out with a descendant of a herbalist, <laughs> and uh, she's here to let me understand uh, more about the nature and uh, the uh, do I call it the curative or the cure aspect of the nature mm -hmm. the cure aspect of nature right mm -hmm. yeah so let her do her thing because basically maybe I don't know more ab more about the natural you don't know about nature not about the, the, the medicine even though I grew up with my grandma I just knew a little bit a little bit Okay. Mm -hmm. That one. Uh, Not this one. This, this one. So guys, eh? <coughs> I cannot come out of this place without showing you some of the medicinal herbs. So we have Mubiru. Please pronounce it to the people. No, I, I told my people, uh, you're so good in Kikuyu language, uh -huh. you'll help me pronounce these words. But what have you pronounced it as? See, uh, mubi, Mubiru. Oh my god! <laughs> how, how am I supposed to pronounce it? Oh my god, it? it's Mofiru. In Kikuyu, there's no so, B. So there is no B. No, in Kikuyu, there's no B. So the it's B. F. So the B is replaced with F. Uh -huh. So Mofiro. Hey, Mofiro. Okay. The same thing as it in Kikuyu there's no U. U. It's a Mo. It's O. Mofiro. See, it's U, but it has like a thing. Up it has there. a an uh, whatever like French. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's Mofiro. So it also has its scientific name here, and also. <laughs> uh -huh, the edible fruits <laughs> all Mbiru, back and roots are medicinal. So. This one. So what? <laughs> My lungs live with a little more sense left in the <laughs> finest thing. So these are the these are the leaves. Yeah. These are the leaves. I just pronounced a word as mobile. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you think you're just a thing? So these are the these are the seeds. These are the seeds. The seeds are edible. The, the seeds are edible. Can I eat? What but you? it has to turn yellow. Is it yellow? No, it's somehow greenish. No, it's not yet right. It's not yet right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So but it's also an aloe vera. Yeah, an aloe vera, I know it. So this one, uh, sometimes when you are young, mm -hmm. when you get a cut, mm -hmm. you apply the liquid part of it, ah. and then now it heals. Or mm -hmm. if your chicken has something like uh, crocodiles mm -hmm. or Newcastle disease, you put it in water, and maybe within one or two days, the chicken is healed. Ah. Also, they use the. Uh, also, mm -hmm. the women, mm -hmm. they use the water part of it mm -hmm. to apply to oh, their yeah. hair with avocado, right? Yes. 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 At least also, one. I think they've cut it. Mm -hmm. There was a rose plant, rosemary plant. Rosemary. Oh, there I know it. Yeah, rosemary. Oh. If you plant it around your house, mm -hmm. it's used to chase away negative energy and evil. My people, I need to go deep into this Kikuyu thing. But you're not a Kikuyu. No, he, he's an Englishman. How are you pronouncing a Kikuyu word like an Englishman? No, I didn't know. No, you, Mubiru. I How didn't you know. Mubiru? Are you an Englishman or a Kenyan? I'm a Kenyan. Oh, please, yo. <laughs> so it's Mofiro, right? Mofiro. I just now have corrected what <laughs> that today I've learned there is no B uh -huh, and there's no U. There is no U. B is F and U is O. I think I should uh, stay with these uh, amazing uh, chocolates. Hey, 
really money here. Money you killed, Tony. Please tell him to pay me. Money is not, <laughs> money is not an issue. Ah. We will agree on payments. Uh -huh. And then I write you a check. Okay. And we okay. get to land. And there is a coffee plant. There is a coffee plant. Where is it? Let me see. I think coffee coffee plant, I know it. You know it? Yeah. Because uh, in my auntie's home, you have coffee. they have coffee. Do you, I know more about Nini coffee for a little bit. So. Okay. Yeah. So you are telling me there is also another. There is another spot. So There's now, a... as a guy, mm -hmm. yeah. You are circumcised, right? Uh -huh. So no, did you go to the hospital or did you do it? Went to the liver. You went to the river? To the liver. Very early in the morning. You're sure? Yes. You're not kidding me. You're not playing. Why should I should why should I lie to you? You went to the river. You went to the liver. Okay, so now I'm going to show you mm -hmm. where the Kikuyu boys go to be circumcised. Yes, and where sacrifices are done. You know Kikuyus are big on sacrificing. Give to go what belongs to God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Go. so guys, uh, let's go, and let me be shown where by. And also. Where the initiation. There is yes, and also there is this stick. Mm -hmm. Mukwaju. It has a name. My the walking stick. Yes. But it has its own name uh -huh. that elders used to walk with. In the Kikuyu, if you've met a Kikuyu elder, mm -hmm. Umemwana, you've seen him with his specific Yeah, there are some sticks. specific sticks they walk mm -hmm. with. So it comes from a specific tree, okay. not just any tree. Wow. Okay, so yeah. I'm also going to be showing you the tree where this stick comes from. Wow. And this stick also, mm -hmm. you know the Maasai beds? Yeah. That is where, that is the same tree. I'm a Mkichoma Nyama. Do you love Nyama Choma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Sikwizi, mm -hmm. people right now don't cook Nyama Choma like our The way it's supposed to. Yes. Uh -huh. It just doesn't slop. It's just plain. Mm -hmm. That is why most foreigners will come and say Nyama Choma is just grilled meat right. with no salt. Yeah, yeah. That's sometimes when I go to the Maasai land, mm -hmm. there is a way they lit a bonfire. Mm -hmm. And they have some, they chop some sticks, they sharpen yes. them, and then they, uh, what do they call them? Like stick them to the ground mm -hmm. and then they bonfire the center and then they will keep the rotating the meat. It is usually nice. So now I want to show you the tree oh. where the stick comes from. And the stick that they use, mm -hmm. they, it adds flavor. Flavor it's to the... Like, uh, it adds flavor to the meat. Wow. So I'll be showing you the stick. But here, mm -hmm. this is where circumcision happens. Okay. This is where sacrifices mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this this is a sacred place by the way. So guys you can you can be able to see there is the Kikuyu cultural shrine. So that means this is a holy ground. This is a holy ground. And I have overheard that you are not supposed to walk on holy grounds with shoes. Mm -hmm. Should we remove our shoes and walk on? You then who has <laughs> <Yeah>. shoes. <laughs> so so <laughs> let me hold for me here. So let me sit for my reason. Yeah. So this is the holy ground and this is whereby the Kikuyu used to do their sacrifices. So the site is a sacred Kikuyu culture shrine. It was chosen by the ancient local community and is surrounded by the Kikuyu sacred tree, i.e. Mukoyo, yes, Mugumo and Mu, Mugu, Mugumo and the other one is Mu, Mu. Mo the third one is done that Mobo. Mobo. Hey, my goodness, people. Okay, the site has been used by the local community for hundreds of years to conduct prayers and cultural ceremonies. Ancient Kikuyu traditional holds these trees are sacred trees because it was thought that the spirits, now the spirits of the Kikuyu, the ones that connected the god and them, ancient Kikuyus dwelled here right especially deceased ancestors dwelled here in therefore the kikuyu will never cut down these sacred trees and thus these trees will often grow to be very old they are most often found where there is a plenty of water mm -hmm. karemeru river down there so i think that this is the the name of the river here among okay among the cultural ceremonies conducted here is 
Borisia Kiyama, right? Do you know what is that? I, unless you explain to me. Okay, okay, which signifies a man's progression from childhood to yeah. uh, old age. Prayers were. Have, have you, as a guy, has you, have you ever removed Boris Yakema? Uh, but you're not a beauty, you? So, players were uh, still here, including the by modern day Christians. So, even the Christians, the modern day Christians, can come here to pay respect to the, to the gods yeah, of the Kikuyu. Me, I believe that. Mm -hmm. As much as you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. You still need to follow your culture. Like, yep. You know how I admire Maasai's mm -hmm. and Muslims because mm -hmm. for some, the Western people have not come to westernize them. Yeah. But for us as Kikuyus, we have forgotten our culture. We, we forgotten... want to be identified with like the Western side of the, yes, the country. Yes, yes. So most people you'll hear their child after they've been circumcised, you know, normally after after a boy has been circumcised, it's the uncle from the mother's side that is supposed to give permission for yeah. this to happen. Yeah. And he's supposed to slaughter a goat. Mm -hmm. But right now people don't do this. Yeah. And let me tell you, everything that we do, it has consequences. As long as you believe in God, you still need to go back because even Jesus said, "Give to Caesar what belongs to, to Caesar, Caesar. Yeah. and don't give God what belongs, belongs to God." To God yeah. So you come from somewhere. So culture, yo. Yeah, and that's why I try my best mm -hmm. to go back to the roots and get to understand where I come from. Mm -hmm. That's how this one legend said: "A people without a culture mm -hmm. is like a tree that does not have roots." Yeah. Yeah, so he was um, Marcus Garvey, is the one that said that mm -hmm. saying a people without roots mm -hmm. is like a tree that does not have roots. A people who don't have culture okay. is like a tree that does not have roots. So that means people need to also to go back. Like, it's as if now when you fall maybe from that Western culture thing, mm -hmm. where are you going to fall back? I don't know. So you need to have your cultural background and that is why sorry let me cut you short uh -huh. that is why most african americans mm -hmm. they are coming back to africa because mm -hmm. they are trying to trace back their roots yes so yes. now if you are african and you know your culture be proud of that be, proud of be that. very proud of that yeah. yeah so it's been an amazing I'm experience not and I'm also continuing to experience this experience. Mm -hmm. It was a nice hitting up on her and linking up with her and because people are going to interpret that differently. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was about to interpret So <laughs> anyway, but you never know, time will change. So, so mm -hmm. those trees. These ones? Yeah, those trees. Which one? Oh, this that, one. that, or oh, this one? This is the tree that I'm telling you about. So the sticks, mm -hmm. they are used to make walking sticks walking for stick. the elders. Oh, and wow. not just any man. Mm -hmm. Not like, no, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. This stick is the one that is used to make the walking stick. So this one is the one that is used to make the walking stick. Yeah, has... Normally they are very... I wish I, ha I carried my gukas, mm -hmm. but this one... And it has, it has some very smooth bucks mm -hmm. and it has like some patterns. If people, you can be able to tell it has some different patterns. Yeah. Like the brown, the green, the grayish. Yeah. Yeah. Also the bed, Maasai bed. The Maasai beds. You know they don't normally have mattresses and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. This is what they use. Wow. Like the tradition, the old school Maasai guys, not mm -hmm. the new school, the old school. Mm -hmm. They use this same stick. Wow. And when you're roasting your meat, mm -hmm. this is this the is the stick that you uh, used your to. Your meat will come out fantastic. Now how? Not using the grill. No, you don't. Using use the, the this grill. stick. I've yes. ever been to the Maasai land. Uh -huh. 
and uh, I have seen how they grill their meat, how they lift the bonfire, and then they get some sticks, they sharpen them, they put the meat on the, that stick, and then they place around that bonfire, and then maybe they keep on rotating the meat, rotating the meat. I miss going back to the Maasai. <laughs> No, 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 this is the stick, and this is a hub. The, the other one, the the, tree there. So this is a. This one, this is a hub, hey, and guys, you can, you can be able to tell they have different bugs. This one looks like more rough than the one that I've shown yeah. you here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Should we continue? A people without culture, roots, and gods. Is like a peep, uh, like a tree without roots. So I'm tracing back my roots, getting to understand. At least today I'm learning, and also, guys, I hope you're still learning. Yes. School fees. I'll be claiming my. You will. You will. You will uh, ask me to pay school fees, right? If, yes, hopefully, and I might ask you questions <laughs> to see if you understood everything that I've said. It's good to know to for myself, but to. So guys, if the people want to know others, at least now they can book a trip with me. Yeah, guys, don't forget I have my own travel agency. If you wanna tour around Kenya or East Africa, you can hit me up. So guys, I hope you can be able to tell. Look at the ambience. It's so quiet, so chill. Somewhere you come to unwind. Yeah, you, by the way, it smells like uh, wheat flour. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think it's because of some trees smell a certain way. Spice tree. A spice. So guys, you can be able to tell the ambience. It looks. It's giving. It's giving. That's how the Gen Z. Yeah, they say Gen Z. Munasema, it's giving, right? I'm not a Gen Z. <laughs> I'm a Gen Z alpha. Gen, okay. <laughs> So this is how the place looks like. It's so quiet. There is a waterfall. There are some so many places, guys, you can visit and get to learn a lot as I've learned today. Anyway, let her let her majesty. Oh. Anyway, this place smells like food. Mm -hmm. I don't know what specifically is smelling like food, but I think there's a spice bush. Maybe, maybe. Maybe there is a spice. Well, what do you have to tell my community and my people? Well, it was nice getting to know and being in your family. Mm -hmm. And it was lovely getting to know you. I don't know why he has eye contact. Let me focus here. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was lovely. It was lovely getting to meet you. Mm -hmm. And thank you for sliding in my DM. He's leading my day um. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> anyway, it was lovely being a guest in your channel. Thank you so much, my loves, for... I'm used to calling my people my loves. Is it okay it's if okay. I call you It's as okay. My loves? That is your phrase. That's how they know you. Okay, so thank you so much, my loves, my chocolate lovers, for being part of this video. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and also do not forget to pass by my channel. And if you already are part of this beautiful, lovely family of Sam, Asante Sana, for yeah. always supporting the guy. And it yeah. was lovely hanging out with you. Yeah, guys, you can be able to tell she has a very, very nice smile. <laughs> I love her smile, by the way. Anyway, guys, it's been an amazing. It's been Pleasure. Amazing time Pleasure. hanging out with Sherry and getting to know her and getting to know what she stands for. Anyway, guys. So what do I stand for? You stand for your culture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She stands for culture. She's proud of her culture. Mm -hmm. And she's not, um, what do I say? She admits she's proud of her culture. Yeah. So anyway, guys, go subscribe to our channel, mm -hmm. Sherry, the innocent girl, yes. the innocent village girl. I forgot to say one thing. Mm -hmm. If you are a lady and your dark skin or your chocolate, please love your skin. I always say, I always have to say this yeah. because a lot of ladies are bleaching their skin. Melanin, melanin, melanin. 
rangi ya dollar no oh. please ni rangi ya dollar za chana na zile zingine za guys ah huh? we are not going to take into uh, <laughs> anyway guys see you on the next episode <laughs>